So today we are going to look at the Talking Point Premium buttons from TTS and what I thought I'd do is rather than again me just talk about how I'd use them in class and what I would do with them, I enlisted the help of my top team, my tech team. So I got my tech team to unbox the Talking Point Premiums and said, right guys, this is a great resource for school, but I just wanted to see how it works. I want you to figure out how to get them working. And they looked at the instructions, they played around, they fiddled, they messed, and within about two minutes, they could pretty much tell you and tell anyone actually exactly how to use them and how to get them working. With the Talking Point Premium, you can record two different individual sounds and for the first one, you press the button to play that sound back, but this is how you record. He wants to explain to me how you record using function one. Kieran, go. So the first step, you put it on number one, then you put it on circle, what you want to say. Like I would say, class three, four H is the best class ever. And then you put it on triangle, and then you tap it. Black 3, 4, H is the best cast ever. Is he right? Yeah. Yeah. Good, because if he didn't say yes, he'd be in trouble. Okay. Both groups had a little play, recording their voices, and then pressing the button to listen to their voices being played back. So to play the second sound, you have a mo you can record a sound and you have a motion sensor, so when you walk past or when something waves past, it plays back, so it's really cool. The kids really love that. Hello, And it's just as easy to record the audio for the motion sensor too. So who wants to explain to me how you get function two to work? Let's go. Random names like Bob's go. So you set it on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You set it to the triangle. And how do you set it off now? Well then, you can like, rub your hand over it and then it will... So finally I asked the kids, well, these things look great, um, we love playing with them, but how would we use them in the class? Because I always ask my children when we use new resources, how would, how would you like to use them? How do you think I could use them in class to help support your learning? And this is what they came up with. We've had a little play. Um, you can now record and use it. Now, what sort of things could we use it for in class? Put your hand on and let me see. Um, let's go anti-clockwise. Max, how we could use it in class? So you could like, um, kids and teachers can use it. Um, and um, so um, teachers could record stuff for the kids. Mm -hmm. and, and, then, and, and then if you press the button or swipe your hand over it, you will just know what you have to do. I get what I mean because sometimes you guys ask for instruction on the task, don't you? So I could record it on here, because you know when we do maths tasks? I could record the task on here, place this on the extension work, and then once you're ready, what would you do? You would just press it. And it'll tell you what to do? Yeah. And then you don't disturb me while I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> okay, <Always>. um, <laughs> Kieran, what else could you do with it? You could put it somewhere and like, it could be like a teacher alert or a teacher alarm if someone's doing something. Wrong. So what, what function is it we're using there for that? How, how would it set that off? I'd say like number two and yeah. the record and then Yeah, the sensor. Past. So when you walk past it will go teacher alert, teacher alert. Mm, I see what you're doing there, Kieran. Right, um, Fizzy, how else could we use it? You can put it on display and then if you, someone walks by, you know, who you can see who walks Ah, so if, say, your piece of writing, for example, you could put it up next to your piece of writing and go boop, and it could be you reading your piece of work out or a bit of poetry or explaining what's going on. Sorry, Fizzy, we're about to go back to class, but you just gave me a really, explain what you're saying to me then, that was a really good so idea. if people are shy and they don't want to speak in front of the class, they can just record it somewhere in a private room and then put it in front of the class and they can stand up and just press the button and then you can hear what they're, they're supposed to what say. What an amazing idea, this is why I'm on my tech team phase. I've got two sets here, Shall we? so we keep one set in our class and we'll investigate and discover it. What about the other set? What about the reception? What about the reception kids? Do you think they'd like it? Yeah. yeah. 
Should we give it to? Should we give one to Mrs. Clayton and see if she can use it in her class? Yeah, great idea, right? So we gave a set of the talk point Bremens to the reception teachers and we said, right guys, you guys have a play with this and see what you think. And after a week, I went back and I asked them some questions and I asked them what their thoughts and feelings were of the talking point Bremen. And this is what Mrs. Clayton said. Thank you, Mrs. Clayton. These little buttons are game changers. We have them in our areas in the early years classroom and they're so wonderful that the children use them themselves, but we've been using them this last week and it's been able to support us with what we want the children to achieve. So, for example, we want them to do a task in an area, we record it onto the button, they press the button and then they know exactly what it is that we want them to do. So they're accessing so much more vocabulary and obviously we can't be in everywhere, everywhere in all the areas all the time. So it means we've got lots of little staff all over the classroom. The best thing about these is that you can take them off and pop them back on for recharging. They last for ages and it means we're not spending loads of money on replacing batteries all the time. So they're brilliant. So if you are interested in getting the Talking Point Premiums to help teach and learning in your class, then follow the link in the description. Now, a big thank you to my tech team for helping me out today and also to Mrs. Clayton, who I just jumped on and said, right, would you just explain how I'd use this in class? And she did it. So thank you, Miss Clayton. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that frightened me.